What is up guys, it is XX Modern Tutorials here, and today I have a tutorial on how to get cool cursors like this one that I have. It is really cool, I really like this cursor. And um, to pretty much do this, you're just going to go to your web browser and click on the link that I that I provide in the description. Um, it's going to be customize.org slash popular forward slash browse forward slash cursor forward slash popular. I'll have that link in the description, so don't worry. It's going to be an ADF that a while link just right, just on the top right. Click skip ad in five seconds, and then it will take you right here. So um, you can go ahead and browse the more the most popular cursors, and just browse and browse and stuff like that. Just find, just keep browsing until you find the one that you like, and go ahead and click on it. Like for me, I'm just going to click on the one that I have. And if you do like, if you like this one as well, I will put the link in the description for this cursor. Um, so just go ahead and check out the cursor. Click on the image. Check it out. Um, these are the effects, the transition effects, like that. It turns into like a sword, I guess, when you're gonna write something. There you go. And uh, and that one, it's like the cursor, the red blades right here. These red blades, they start spinning when when it's like a loading screen when you open something and it starts loading because your computer's slow. <laughs> Um, so it does have animations and stuff, so it's pretty cool. And I really like the ninja star effect. And if you ask how do you accurately, precisely click on it, there's a little crosshair in the middle of the ninja star. Right here, there's a crosshair. I don't know if you can see it right now. You might have to full screen and 720p it. And, um, that's pretty much the only way you can see it. I don't think you can see it if it's minimized because the cursor is too small. So, there's a crosshair in the middle. And that's how you can accurately see, as you see that 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 um it's in my opinion it's more accurate. See, because I like the little crosshair, and you get used to it after a long. I mean, <laughs> not for long. You get used to it very shortly. I've only had this for a couple of hours, like three, two hours maybe, and I'm already used to it. I'm already doing this really fast. I'm already going to the top right, minimizing and maximizing maximizing the boxes and everything like that. And if you want to ask for games, uh, as far as I know, I know this works for Minecraft. Like, uh, open up Minecraft, and you click E. Like, you click E and the server, not the server, you click E, and when you drag stuff around your inventory, um, it will still have your custom cursor. Like, for me, it will still have this Ninja Star one. Um, to download it, just click download file. And I will hack, and I will <laughs> hack. I will have this download link in the description. So just click, click here to download. And you do need WinRAR or 7-Zip. And after you have it downloaded, just open it up. And if yours doesn't come in a, if yours doesn't come in a file folder inside the WinRAR file, um, you're gonna have to um, make a folder on your desktop. Right-click it, new folder and just name it cursors you can just name it cursors and then drag everything in the folder or just extract it yeah just extract everything in the folder into your folder like cursors on my desktop I can just extract it to that but um, that's only if yours doesn't come in a folder but mine does so all I have to do is drag that folder to my desktop and voila, I have it. The, um, that's you can only pretty much drag it to your desktop if you um if it's already in a folder. But if it's not, if it's just a whole bunch of different files with the cursor and everything, um, you don't extract it to your desktop to your desktop because it's gonna make a whole bunch of random files for the cursors. So you're gonna have to make a file if it has a lot of files in it. So just open up your folder and make sure. It has for type setup information. Make sure it has setup information. If it doesn't have setup information, then this will not work for you. And I do not know how how to like make it have setup information. Like, oh, if it, if you download a custom cursor, not this one. If you just browse and find one cool that you like and download it, and see that it has setup information, then you're, then you're good. But if you see it doesn't have setup information, you're gonna want to um, f 
like delete it and find another one that has it. So just click on setup information. I mean, <laughs> click on install. And once it's highlighted, right click it and click install. Then it's going to start. For me, it just automatically starts installing, but I'm going to cancel it because I already have it. So, um, for you, it should, something should pop up, like a little, a window. It should say yes or no, and, and some additional information with it, but just go ahead and click yes. And it'll start installing like it did here, but I canceled it. So, once it finishes installing, you can go ahead and delete that because it's already installed. And then you're going to want to go to your control panel, hardware and sound, and mouse. Go to pointers. And you should be on your regular, on your default mouse. Like for me, it it would it was on here when I first got this cursor. Then I would click on this and find the the file or cursor name, whatever you want to call it. And it's going to be your cursors. So none of these work if you just click on alternate select or this cross one. It won't work if you if you do that and then click apply and okay. I've tried it. It doesn't work. Th those are just the, the different ones that that it animates to. Those are just the animations of the cursor. So you can't choose an animation for the cursor. The cursor automatically turns into that once it is necessary. So if a, if a file starts loading, that little circle with the loading thing won't pop near my mouse. It'll just do the the loading one. Like the animation for this is like the blades. The blades right here. They'll start spinning. That's my animation. So. You can't choose one of these. You have to choose the, the the normal select one. And once you click that, you're gonna want to click OK. And this should pop up. And just well, no, this this won't pop up for you because it's just asking me if I want to replace my cursor with the same cursor. I'm just gonna do no because I already have it. So once you click OK, you should be done, and your your cursor should update. It might lag your computer like a little bit. And I just have this animation right here. This is actually pretty cool. Look at that. Look at the animation, it's sick. And, um, it might lag your computer for, like, three seconds, because it's changing the cursor and applying all the animations and stuff like that. So, don't worry if it's not, it didn't freeze your computer, it didn't put a virus in your computer or anything like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much how to get a custom cursor for free. Really easy, easiest way. And that's about it. I have the two links in the description. One link for the website with the cursors. And another link for this cursor that I'm using right now. And I'll start using this cursor for all my videos now. I really like this cursor. And just a tip. It doesn't take that long to get used to it. Maybe an hour or two to get used to it. So if you have any questions, please comment down below. If it's not working for you, please comment down below your problem or the error that pops up. Um, I'll be able to. I'll get back to you ASAP. And that's about it. This sh should work for you. And this is for Windows 7. So, I mean, it might work for Windows for um, Windows Vista or something like that. But this would th th I know this does work for Windows 8, too. So, if you have Windows 8, it does work for that, too. So, it doesn't work. I don't think it works for the ancient machines. <laughs> like, XP and Vista and stuff. But, I mean, I know this works on Windows 7 and Windows 8. So, I mean... Yeah, so thanks for watching. That's about it, guys. If you want more, if you want more videos like this, comment, rate, subscribe. Two links will be in the description. Peace.